Jennifer flirting, the couple having an argument, blood found inside and out of their stateroom, and most perplexing, claims from the beautiful bride that she had passed out a long way from their stateroom and could remember little about what had happened. Drew says when Jennifer returned, all of George's friends had a lot of questions. So you were grilling her. You wanted yeah. to know what happened. Right. I said, well, well where were you? And she said, you know, I was, I was passed out. She said, I don't remember. And I wish that she did. Honestly, I wish that she did. Drew says he hopes that Jennifer has told authorities everything she knows. But George's sister, Bree, and parents, George and Maureen, feel strongly that she has not. He would have been a loyal father and husband to Jennifer Hagel for many years. And unfortunately, I am 100% convinced he was betrayed. The split between Jennifer and her in-laws seems to be irreversible. Two and a half months after my son is dead, she comes to our house and has dinner. And across the table, she says to me, I want to get on with my life. I looked at her like, how can you do this to your husband? Two and a half months after his death, you don't want answers, you want to get on with your life. Last week, Just Jennifer reached a financial settlement with Royal Caribbean. As a result, she dropped a planned lawsuit that would have been filed in conjunction with George's family. It's clear that Jennifer's hiding something, so I think that in this case, it was in Jen's best interest uh, to settle so that the truth did not come out. At that storybook wedding just a year ago, George, who stood to inherit a family liquor business, gave everyone in the wedding party a commemorative bottle of wine. Drew Lufkin says the groomsmen all plan on getting together and toasting George's memory when they finally find out what happened to him. He says he hopes they can invite Jennifer. I hope to enjoy it with the people that wanted, wanted George around. But one of his friends told me that, that he'd like to believe that they could still pop the cork on that wine bottle and be able to ask Jen to the table. I don't think it'll ever happen. I, uh, I think uh, Jennifer betrayed George. She's not invited to our house.